No Matter What by Debbie Gliori. Small was feeling grim and grumpy. Good grief, said Large. What is the matter? I'm grim and grumpy, said Little Small, and I don't think you love me at all. Oh, Small, said Large. Grumpy or not, I'll always love you, no matter what. If I were a grumpy grizzly bear, would you still love me? Would you still care? Of course, said Large, bear or not. I'd always love you, no matter what. But if I turned into a squishy bug, would you still love me and give me a hug? Of course, said Large, bug or not. I'd always love you, no matter what. No matter what, said Small with a smile. What if I were a crocodile? I'd still hold you close and snug and tight and tuck you up in bed each night. But does love wear out? Does it break or bend? Can you fix it or patch it? Does it mend? With time together, a smile and a kiss, love can be mended with things like this. But what about when you're far away? Does your love go too, or does it stay? Look up at the stars. They're far, far away, but their light reaches us at the end of each day. It's like that with love. We may be close, we may be far, but our love still surrounds us wherever we are. My ideas for a lesson plan that you could do with the book No Matter What by Debbie Gliori are mostly centered around um, doing it for kindergarten through third grade. I think that in regards to reading, you could read aloud the story and then you could lead the class in a discussion of the book after you've read it through once and refer back to the pictures as needed for clarification. You can discuss with the children what they think love means. Who makes up their family? Who do they love no matter what? Why? I think it's important to plan enough time for all of the kids to be able to supply an answer as this is a way to make sure that they know that their opinion is important no matter what and because little kiddos generally love to talk and contribute and they all want to be part of it. If you don't have the time, perhaps, to go around the whole group, you could have them break off into groups of two and have them create their own list of who they love no matter what and who loves them. This would be a nice beginning activity to learn how to work in groups and collaborate. The actual list might be very short or very long, but the idea of collaboration would be of importance. This would also be a wonderful time to introduce the word unconditional into a child's vocabulary and discuss what it means and how it relates to the book. And I've always found that little kiddos especially love learning big words too. It'd be a nice way to draw in a, a more complicated vocabulary word into their vocabulary. In terms of writing, I think it would be really neat to have the children create a card to give it to a person who they love, no matter what. You could have them write the name of the person on the card, their name, three reasons why they love them, no matter what, and this could be in list form or a sentence, depending on what writing skills you might want to be working on and the grade level. And also have them do a drawing that shows their love or a drawing of the person they love, depending on what they are um, or who they are making the card for. 
Depending on the age, the teacher could prepare the cards ahead of time. For kindergarten, cards could have the prompts already written on them, like two from three reasons I love you no matter what. For third grade or older grades, you could have them create the card from scratch and give them a list on the board of what should be included in the card. I think it's more fun to create, color, and decorate a card naturally, um, but I do think that this particular assignment would carry over well into creating a digital excuse me, digital card too, which would be a good way to include the technological component into the um, lesson. I know that I've said that this assignment is mainly, and the book is mainly aimed towards a younger age child, but I do think there's a lot of aspects to this book that makes it good that you could um, expound on these ideas and carry it through into older grades up as high as sixth grade even, um, and some of the ideas that are in the book could be discussed in more detail for an older child. And that is my lesson plan. Thank you.